How's it going guys? I want to make this video on why you're not getting strength in the gym. So the biggest problem I see, number one, which is why it's on the top of the list, is you're not progressing in your program. Um, you might find a program, but the key is that as a, as a natural drug-free lifter, you can only build muscle if you're getting stronger. It's the adaptation of um, putting a higher stimulus on your body in order to build muscle. That's why you need to progress in your program. If you have a program and it just tells you to do the same thing over and over again and you're going to get results, then you're not going to get any physical attributes. Like, it'll work for a moment. It'll probably work for like a month or two. And you're going to find that your physique will not change. It's going to look exactly the same. And that's because you're not progressing in any other way. And that's the problem I find with a lot of people. Even at the gyms I go to, I see a bunch of older people every year. They come to the gym and look exactly the same. It's because they're not progressing in their strength. Second, you're not eating enough. So uh, other than actually having the stimulus to build muscle, it's nutrition that is permissive to put on the muscle. All right. So if you have a goal of putting on 20 pounds and it's your first year of lifting, that's probably going to take about a year for you to put on that uh, weight. So what you're going to set yourself up for is a caloric surplus to build 20 pounds over the course of a year. And you'll know this by, everyone knows this, a pound is equivalent to 3,500 calories. So you gotta put yourself on a surplus. Um, you can do probably about a week. If you go by a week period, you probably wanna eat about 300, 350 above maintenance. And that's what will give you the results that you need. Another reason is that you are under recovered. This is more of, it, it depends on your work capacity. And I personally, in my honest opinion, I believe everyone should have a high work capacity because that will ensure that it's never that you don't get enough volume in, but you can always handle the volume that you're given and it'll provide a better muscle growth and you'll get better results in general if your work capacity is higher. So what I mean by under recovered is Normally you find it in higher frequency programs where you're training muscle groups more than once a week. Um, or actually there's some programs that you'll find that you're training the muscle group three times a week and that is just way too much for your body to handle. I'm sorry. You may have a good work capacity. If you're under recovered, um, it'll provide a kind of a monotonous overtraining. Uh, that's uh, another way of saying that if you sit there and push all your sets and you're like dead tired all the time, you're not allowing your body to adapt properly, then you're obviously not gonna make any strength gains. And another one, this applies to mainly you lifting in general, is you're only as strong as your weakest link. What I mean by that is, let's take for instance, overhead press, my favorite shows of all time. This is the best example of you are as strong as your weakest link. With overhead press, you have to make sure everything is good. Because if you're like, if you have weak legs or weak glutes, it's gonna be really hard to stabilize that weight when you're pushing. And when that weight gets hard, you're obviously not gonna be able to give it 100% your maximum. Because even though you might have the potential for your upper body to push over, I don't know, 185, your upper body strength could do that. But if your stability is low, you're not getting that high. You're gonna sit there trying to shake the weight and trying to stabilize the weight, and all that energy is wasted. So you want to make sure that on certain lifts everything is proportioned to each other. And same thing with bench. If you have a hard time coming off the chest on the bench, then I recommend doing some more direct chest work. Obviously just um, do some like cable flies, or sorry not cable flies, or whatever pressing movement in general. There's an extra pressing movement to get the stimulus in the chest. And same thing with triceps. If you have a hard time doing the, the lockout portion of the bench, then obviously you want to do some direct tricep work, like extensions, um, Pull, uh, push downs, all that fun jazz. So those are the four reasons why you're not getting strength in the gym. And if you stick to these, if you find out which one it is, the reason why you're not getting strength, apply these methods. If you're not progressing in your program, A, either the program's really shitty because it never applied a progression model in general, or you're not pushing yourself hard enough to make sure, you're not pushing yourself hard enough to add weight to the bar or add a rep to the exercise because that's the key. 
too. If you're not eating enough, <laughs> start today. Eat. Especially if you're in your first few years of lifting, eat. I don't care. If you're, unless you're above 20% body fat, eat, 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 eat in a surplus. Trust me. It'll work out way better in the long run, and that's one thing I wish I could take back. I regret that in my freaking fitness career, is that I didn't just, I have focused on looking aesthetic, but didn't focus on strength, because right now, I'd probably be way stronger, I'd probably look way better right now, if I just ate and not be a moron. Three, I'm not recovered. Simple as that. Either it's your program's fault, or your fault. Um, I'm going to go with you if you decide to pick a program. I mean, if you're obviously taking a, if you're taking an intermediate program, but you're a novice, you're probably really under recovered because you can't handle the intermediate stuff. So, what you've been doing? Again, you get enough calories to support recovery. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep if you're tired. Um, have a normal sleeping schedule because, um, like me, I have insomnia, so I have a hard time sleeping, but just find little small things. Just try and get as much rest as you possibly can because that will help your recovery and that will help you progress in strength for the gym. Your weakest link, again, pick some special exercises that focuses on the muscle group that is weak. So, again, like if, if you're having a hard time stabilizing the bar when you're doing overhead press, work on some glutes, work on the abs, obliques, just everything in the stability core general area. And there you go, guys. Enjoy those tips.